In about 10 days or so from now, we're going to be learning more about the upcoming RTX 3000 mobile lineup. And if you're from Germany, this is probably going to be happening at 7 p.m. But chances are you've already watched one of my videos talking about these graphics cards and you know a lot about them. And chances are you've also heard about the RTX 3050, 3050 Ti, 3060 and the 3080 Ti. All of those graphics cards have been pretty much confirmed by Lenovo and Asus. And if you thought to yourself, is Nvidia going to stop making those graphics cards that we cannot get our hands on? Well, technically no, because they're supposedly working on the RTX 3070 Super and the 3080 Super, and we're going to be talking about them in this video and some other things, but do note that this is still based on a rumor and not a leak. However, it comes from one of the more accurate, accurate leakers, Copite 7 Kimi, who has told us a lot about the RTX 3000 lineup and including the RTX 3080, 3070, 3060 mobile. And I've also made a video back in October when I had 5,200 subscribers, so most of you probably don't know it, but I was talking about the RTX 2080, yeah, 3080 20 gig version, which was canceled by Nvidia shortly after that video aired. Um, and I don't know what exactly happened. I heard that they just didn't want to work on it because of shortages and GDDR6 issues and all of those things that, you know, were happening. That's besides the point. Now, it's important to note that these graphics cards still had to be made and of course if you're looking at the RTX 3080 mobile you might have seen that it is based on the G104 chip and not the G102 chip like it is on for the desktop variants. Now if you know something about the G104 chip this is the same that's powering the RTX 3070. Now of course the RTX 3080 has 8 and 16 gigabytes so it comes in two variants however the RTX 3070 you know with the same G104 chip only comes with 8. So why would Nvidia not do a 16 gig version, right? That they're doing it only for mobile? That would be pretty crazy if they were only doing it for the laptops. So this is kind of why I think that they are going to have the 3070 Super. Now, if you remember with the 2080, we had the 2080 normal version, the 2080 Super and the 2080 Ti. And it sure looks like this is going to happen again because you know, if they're doing it for the 3070, why wouldn't they do it for the 3080 as well? Now, there are, of course, things to consider about uh, the specifications of these graphics cards, and I don't have that. I just think that they are going to be releasing it. And of course, if you're looking at the RTX 3080 Mobile, that one has 6,144 CUDA cores, like I mentioned previously in one of my videos. So maybe they're going to have the 3080 Super have more CUDA cores and more VRAM and maybe they're also going to be doing the TI version which you know would be weird to not have you know if you're having a super ti yeah, it's going to be definitely very confusing for everyone buying it now there are of course going to be also three questions on your mind supposedly uh first of one first of which is going to be how pricey are those going to be well your guess is as good as your yeah my guess is as good as yours in this time, moment um i would say that the 3080 ti is most probably going to be 999 us dollars to go head to head against the rx 6900 xt from amd because they've been giving them a lot of competition with regards to the other gpus i don't know maybe 849 for the super maybe 900 i really have no clue now the second question would most probably be regarding availability now if, if you've watched uh, the news or read them or watched uh, steve's video from gamers nexus about the disappointing year that 2020 was and of course <laughs> his entire video which you should be checking out by the way um availability has not been great for any products in 2020 and i suppose that this is going to happen in 2021 at least in q1 so yeah this leads us to the third question why would nvidia be doing this right now well AMD has been doing really great with their RX 6000 series of graphics cards, maybe not with the 6900 XT and maybe not in terms of availability. However, those graphics cards have been putting out, you know, great performance and people are still thinking of getting them over the RTX cards, um, especially if they don't care that much about ray tracing. Now, I don't know if I put this in the title, but the next topic that we're going to be talking about is um, 
with regards to what AMD is preparing to do next. And I'm not talking about RDNA 3, but instead the RDNA 3 Plus architecture. They have just patented at the end of 2020 a MCM design for their GPUs. And of course, I'm talking about multi-chip module design. And if that rings a bell, then it probably should because this is what they've been doing with Ryzen. And this is how they've gained this incredible market share and how they've, you know, overthrown Intel, I guess you could say, with their Zen 3 architecture architecture and they are not going to be the only company to be doing MCM on both well maybe not on both but in the case of AMD they're going to allegedly be doing it on you know on Ryzen and on their Radeon cards um, I'm talking about Nvidia also working on this with their hopper architecture and this has been delayed to my understanding what i was able to find online and instead they're going to be focusing on lovelace and this is going to be the rtx 4000 series and i know a couple of you in the comments have previously asked me to make a video on this and i guess uh, yeah i'm doing a short segment uh, telling you about it now We've seen that these um, upcoming 4000 graphics cards are going to have supposedly up to 70 are going to be up to 70 percent faster than the RTX 3000 lineup and of course these at the moment are just rumors and not leaks and I could tell you like yeah maybe it is going to happen now the question is um because you asked me this, uh, should you wait for them to release the RTX 4000 because it's probably going to make the uh, RTX 3000 lineup obsolete? Well, definitely not. Um, if you want, yes, of course, you can wait for it. Now, there is, of course, questions to be had about that as well. And before I'm going to ask and give an answer to these questions, I'm going to say that you're never truly going to be on the bleeding edge of technology for too long at least, because all of these companies, you know, that are putting out uh, CPUs, GPUs, technology in general, you're always going to be buying something this year and about two, three, or next year, they're going to be putting out something that is much better, presumably much cheaper, like we've seen with the RTX 3000 lineup, or it can also be more expensive, but the short you know explanation to this is you're never going to truly be on the bleeding edge of technology unless you just want to spend as much money as possible every time that they're putting out a new product so i'm kind of thinking that you know there are three questions about this as well um First of one, again, being pricing availability and if there are any caveats or flaws. And we don't know anything about pricing, we don't know anything about availability, and we don't know anything about any caveats or flaws that these, you know, RTX 4000 graphics cards are going to have. Now, we just know that it is most probably going to be based on Samsung's 5 nanometer process, and this is going to make things be a little bit better or fast or if you know if you're looking at the rumors that we've seen so far up to 70 percent maybe and you know whilst they are going to be continuously working on developing those things they are going to be even faster maybe twice as fast than the rtx 3000 but no i don't think that you should be thinking about rtx 4000 already because as you can probably see they're still working on developing the 3000 lineup and these graphics cards are still fine now they're going to be two or maybe more categories but there is only two that i can think right now it's going to be people that you know are using or no let me start with the ones that have a little bit well more money or have a better pc um you have the 20 series and you're thinking of upgrading to the 30 series yeah it doesn't make sense you can wait and get a 40 series or a 50 series whenever that is going to come out now there's also the second group of people those that are still rocking a gt 1030 <laughs> or some i don't know 750 or very old graphics cards in that case then yeah, you can still go with a 20 or a 30 series GPU because chances are, you know, if you've been using a 750 uh, Ti or I don't know, some, some really old, old graphics card, chances are things with the 20 or 30 series GPU or maybe even the 16 series are definitely going to look way better to you than compared to these very old GPUs. So it doesn't really make sense to me personally to wait for the next big thing without knowing about pricing availability caveats and everything else so i would just advise you and this of course is personal coming from me and you can do whatever you prefer 
don't really think that much about the 40 series right now. Of course, if there are going to be more rumors, more leaks, and of course, more information about these GPUs, be sure that I'm going to be covering them. But at the moment, I don't think that it's going to be necessarily that important. And since my camera decided to stop recording because I have an old 600D, I should probably change it at some time. It's also time to end this video and tell you guys that if you would like to, you know, review any of the products that you have bought maybe for Christmas, maybe recently now that you, we've entered 2021, we have an app called Crowd where you can review a lot of gadgets and we also have a Discord server where you can join us uh, in talking about technology and a lot of other things that are relating to well, the tech space, I guess. So you're going to find links to that in the video description. And some of you have been following the channel for quite a while and reading the video description have probably uh, seen it over there as well. And I've seen some of you guys joining. So thanks for that. And also thank you for watching this video. And like I was saying, if I'm going to find out more information about anything that you guys are interested in, you know, those GPUs, those laptops and everything else, I'm going to be making a video on it. Either way, this is all that I had for you guys today. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.